and a top focus in Beyond at this hour. Now, the Chinese policy in Africa is often described as a dead trap. Experts say it is a part of a deliberate strategy to loan unmanageable sum sums to African countries, draw them into China's sphere of influence and force unfair commitments upon them. A recent study says that Beijing is winning lion's share of construction projects in Africa. In the 1990s, about 8 out of 10 contracts to build infrastructure in Africa were won by the Western companies. By 2013, that is when Xi Jinping became the president, the Western firms were running 37% of African infrastructure projects versus 12% for Chinese companies. According to a report, the tables have now turned. That's what the report claims. The Chinese companies accounted for 31% of the African infrastructure contracts valued at $50 million or more in 2022 compared with 12% for Western firms. Amid China's coercive tactics, the EU and US are now trying to catch up. In June, the G7 leaders pledged to raise $600 billion in private and public funds over a span of five years in a bid to finance infrastructure in the developing countries. Concerns are growing over China's debt trap. Experts say that Beijing intentionally, excessively, lends money to low-income, indebted states that cannot later repay Chinese debt. The borrowing state is thus forced to relinquish a sum of its strategic assets to decrease its debt burden towards China. Basically, a debt for equity swap. The countries are becoming ensnared in a debt trap that leaves them vulnerable to China's influence.